Hey guys, it's me, Robin, and this is Nodding Hook Crochet, and today I am here to share with you my setup for um, crocheting with bobbins, doing color work such as corner to corner or graph gans. Now there are a few things if you would like to use my setup, which that's why I'm sharing it with you is to make your life much easier as much as it made my life easier. So you will need a few things to start with a curtain rod or a dowel. A dowel would work just fine too, but the curtain rod has these ends on it and it's going to keep your stuff from falling apart and it is adjustable in length. So I got myself half inch diameter curtain rods. So, and they, these, these ends come off so that it will hold your stuff together. The next thing that you will need are these spools. And I purchased two sizes. This is a three inch and this is a two inch. One of them, I think the measurement might be off, but it said three inch, two inch. And they have the little holes in the center, like a spool. You can see that one better. And all you do is you wrap your yarn around these spools and put your spools on the curtain rod. Now, you could do it like I said, you could use a dowel if you wanted to, but the curtain rod, because it was adjustable, I thought was the better option. So you're going to want to uh, make some kind of stand or attach these brackets to your wall if you crochet in a permanent location. Like I have a designated desk where I sit and I do work and, but I wanted to be mobile and because Usually when you're doing this type of color work, it is a good sized project and takes up time. So I don't want to be trapped in one spot at a time. So I had John build me a frame. Okay, so you'll need spools. This one is a three inch, this one is a two inch. The three inch I got for the uh, larger sections of color that don't have breaks in the color. And these are smaller obviously. But uh, yeah, this is for, you know, larger areas so that you don't have to have so many ends. I will link these spools down in the description below. This has been a lifesaver, so to speak, for doing the color work. It really has. All right, so now we're going to go out in the other room and I'm going to show you my setup and uh, just keep in mind, I didn't make it social media pretty. It is just real life and it is what it is. But let's go take a look at that now. All right, here's my rack. This is real life. It is not social media staged where everything's gonna look all pretty in the background. So John built me this wood frame and he attached my curtain rod brackets. So I have where I can run two rods if I want to. Right now I have 16 bobbins on this one. These two here are not in use. So you're crocheting along and you need a little yarn. You just take it and give it a little, little pull and it starts to roll out the yarn for you. When it comes time to turn your work, you can do one of two things. Now you can pick up your rod and turn it and place the rod back on, or you can turn your work and when you turn it like that, your yarn will cross over. When you finish your the next row there, you just turn it back this way 
Like first you flip it over, then you flip it back this way. And that keeps your yarns from tangling. And I couldn't have asked, well, I probably could have asked, but this is really a super easy system. You don't always have so many bobbins on, or you might have a pattern that requires a whole lot more bobbins. That's the reason for the two, two rods, the holders for two rods. But like I said, when you get these rods, when you get these rods, make sure you get the kind that both of these ends come off. Get the kind where both of these uh, knobby ends come off to make it easier to add or remove your spools. So you want both sides to, both sides of those to be removable, whoops. And then I've just flipped it around, this one comes off too. And this rod is um, half inch in diameter. And now that I put that on there, okay, so the rod is a half inch in diameter. And you just slide the little spools on and they spin nice. Both sizes of these. And I got them going on, they're going opposite directions. But yeah, you just slide them on and when it's time to say I had a color break in between these two, I take that one off, put the new color in, then put the next spool on. And it's like, what a pleasure to do the color work. Okay, so this is my project. It's a horse. This is the back side of it. That graph right there is what it is supposed to look like. I was uh, originally planning on doing it black and white and gray. And then I thought, I need more color to it. So I'm testing out the variegated yarn. For the background color and I'm not quite sure yet what I think of it. We'll know pretty soon. So yeah, this is this is my rack. That is it in all its glory. And what a joy, what a time saver. No battling the yarn, no untangling. It just, it's smooth. It makes it so much easier. All right, you guys, so like I said, it's not um, social media staged, it's real life, it's how it is. It so did not come out. Um, the filming of it was not as easy as I thought it would be. <laughs> I just, uh, yeah, that just is, it is what it is. But this made my life so much easier. I am about, oh, almost. I would say I am almost halfway through my blanket. When I first decided to try and do this, one, it took John a little while to make me the frame. Two, I was going to try and just use the, um, you know, the cardboard tube like you get with uh, on the toilet paper or paper towels and use my yarn cake winder. And I tried that and that was a disaster. 
because it pulls from the outside and it would slide off the skein and then just get tangled around the rod. And so that wasn't fun. So I went on Amazon to see if they had spools and they had all kinds of different sizes. Like I said, this one is a three inch. And this one they say is a two inch. These I like better than this, but this is nice for those big areas that don't have any color breaks in it. So you can fit more yarn on it and you're not having to change your, your yarn as much. So the spools, the half inch diameter curtain rod, and something to attach it to, you got yourself a great way to work on your corner to corner or your graph gans or whatever. No more fussing. No more fussing with these awful things. <laughs> these, these things are the pits. I don't care for them whatsoever. When you don't want it to get caught up on the strings, then it snags and you have to stop what you're doing and unsnag it. And these are absolutely terrible. So you should give this system a try. I think you'll totally enjoy your experience doing corner to corner or graph gans a hundred times more than you would have using this junk. All right. So what do you think? Pretty cool, huh? So if you want to try it, like I said, the links for the spools are in the description down below. Go to your local Walmart or whatever to get the curtain rod. It's going to be way cheaper than to purchase it online somewhere. Unless you don't have that option, then, you know, feel free. Purchase it online. Half inch in diameter and you'll be good to go. Either spool will fit on it. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Let me know what you think. So while you're waiting for your spools to get there, if you watch this video right here, I'm sure you'll find it interesting too. Thanks so much for watching.